try again. We have already discussed about the classification of matter on the basis of chemical properties. Now, in this video, we will know the ways to separate the components of mixture. Well, different methods of separation are used to get individual components from mixture. Heterogeneous mixture can be separated into their respective constituents by simple physical methods like hand picking, shaving, filtration, etc. But in this video, we will learn about some complex physical method used for separation of mixture. First of all, we will study about filtration, then after centrifugation, separating funnel, sublimation, chromatography, distillation, fractional distillation, and crystallization. We will also learn the application and the steps to do this process. So, let's start with evaporation. The process of evaporation is used to separate a substance which is dissolved in water. We will see this process by obtaining colored components from blue, black ink. Well, process of evaporation is used to obtain colored component from blue, black ink. This process is based on the fact that liquid vaporizes easily than solid. It helps in separating volatile substances from non-volatile substances. Now, we will see the steps involved in obtaining colored component from blue black ink. First of all, a beaker is half filled with water. Then after, a large glass is put on the mouth of that beaker. Few drops of ink are put on the watch glass. Now, we will start heating the beaker. We added water because we don't want to heat the ink directly. We will see that evaporation is taking place from the watch glass. We will continue heating. As the evaporation goes on, and stop heating when not any further change on the watch glass is observed. The colored components of ink left behind in the beaker. In this way, we will obtain the colored components by the process of evaporation. Now, the second process we have to study is Centrifugation. This process is used in separating the suspended particles of substance from a liquid. It also helps in separating the cream from milk. This process is carried out by the machine called centrifuge. But why we use centrifugation? to separate suspended particles instead of filtration. Well, sometimes the solid particles in a liquid are very small and pass through a filter paper. For such particles, the filtration technique can't be used. The basic principle involved in centrifugation is that the denser particles are forced to the bottom and the liquid being lighter remains at the top. So, 
This process is based on densities of the components which are mixed thoroughly. The mixture is rotated rapidly so that the heavier particles in the mixtures settle down to the bottom. To understand it properly, let's see steps involved in separating cream from milk. First, we will take some full cream milk in a test tube. Now, we will centrifuge it by using a centrifuging machine for 2 minutes. What we will observe after that is milk is settled at the bottom of the test tube and cream being lighter than the liquid is present at the top of the test tube. In this way, we separated the cream and milk by the process of centrifugation. Now, we will see some application of centrifugation. This process is used in diagnostic laboratories for blood and urine test. It is also used in dairies and home to separate butter from cream. Also in washing machines, it is used to squish out water from wet clothes. Next, we will use separating funnel to separate the mixture. Well, funnel is used in separation of separating two immiscible liquid. The basic principle involved is the difference between the densities of two liquid form two separate layer. We will understand the use of funnel properly by separating kerosene oil and water. So, let's see the steps. First, we will pour the mixture of kerosene oil and water in a separating funnel. After that, this mixture will left undisturbed for some time so that separate layer of oil and water are formed. Now, we will open the stopcock of the separating funnel and pour out the lower layer of water carefully. We will close the stopcock of the separating funnel as soon as the oil reaches the stopcock. What we observed? Well, we observed that kerosene is less in density than the water. Therefore, it will be at the upper layer of the funnel. So finally, we separated the water and kerosene oil using separating funnel. Let's see some application of funnel. It is used to separate mixture of oil and water. Also used in the extraction of iron from its ore. The lighter slag is removed from the top by this method to leave the molten iron at the bottom in the furnace. Now we will discuss about sublimation process. First, we will know what is sublimation. Well, sublimation is process where a substance directly changes from solid to gaseous state on heating. Some examples of the compounds which show the property of sublimation are ammonium chloride, camphor, naphthalene and anthracene. This process is used to separate mixtures that contain a sublimable volatile component 
from a non sublimable impurity. The next process which we have to study is chromatography. It is a physical method of separation which distribute the components between two phases. One is stationary and the other one is moving in a definite direction for the separation. This process is used to separate those solute which dissolved in the same solvent like it is used for separation of colors. The colors which are more soluble in water rises faster on the strip and color gets separated into layers. Applications of chromatography are it is used to separate colors in a dye also used for separation of pigment from natural color. It is also used to separate drug from blood. Now we are going to study about distillation. It is used for the separation of components of a mixture containing two miscible liquid that boil without decomposition and have sufficient difference in their boiling points. Mixture of acetone and water is separated by this method. The next topic is fractional distillation. It is used to separate a mixture of two or more miscible liquids for which the difference in boiling points is less than 25 K. Air is a homogeneous mixture and can be separated into its components by fractional distillation. Below is diagram which shows the steps of separation of air. We will learn this in detail that how we separate the components of air. First, the air is compressed by increasing the pressure and is then cooled by decreasing the temperature to get liquid air. The liquid air is warmed up slowly in a fractional distillation column where gases get separated at different heights depending upon their boiling points. This process is used to separate a gas from the air. In the table, we can see the boiling point of oxygen, argon and nitrogen gas and also the percentage amount of volume of these gases in the atmosphere. Now, we will talk about crystallization. This process is used to remove impurities from solid and purify it. It separates a pure solid from mixture in the form of crystal. Applications of crystallization It is used in purification of salt from seawater, separation of crystals of alum from impure samples. Now, Evaporation is also used to separate impurities from solid. Then why we use crystallization? Well, crystallization is better method than evaporation. It is because solids decompose on evaporation like sugar. It may get charred on heating and then to dryness. Also, some impurities may remain dissolved in the solution even after filtration and on evaporation, these impurities can contaminate the solid. Thus, 
we prefer crystallization than evaporation. That's all for this chapter. We have studied the process to separate the impurities from mixture. Thank you.